Okay, banana. Want to see what I can do with this knife? Oh, I knew it. I was very confident. Door battery. I just knew it had to be around. Oh my god. Hey, what is up, my scrubs? Welcome to Brain Game, hosted by this banana. What is it with fruit? What's with these fruit always? Just ruining everything. Okay, but this is a Roblox game. And this is a game show hosted by, apparently, the peanut butter and jelly banana. Does anyone remember the peanut butter and jelly time song? Way back, way back, way back. Like, I don't know if he is officially, but it sure does look like him. But there's something off about this banana. Just, just watch. You'll see. I mean, I don't know exactly, but I just don't trust the banana. Oh, I'm watching. Oh, God, there he is now. It literally says that there's a secret with the banana. I just don't know what it is. See, I'm actually, I think this is an actual game going on right now. Look, it says right here, the announcer's secret. Can you solve the mystery? All right, let's join the game. It's time for a special guest question. Introducing... Bordy the smart board. <laughs> Settle down, everybody. It's just me, Bordy the smart board. Okay. Here's your question. Take a candor. This image is an illustration am of I, the process am I playing? of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses. What word best describes this? Oh, oh, am I playing already? Uh, smart, um, contemplation? I don't know! Contemplation! <laughs> he does not look happy about it. Wait. Oh, I got I it wrong! Go ride some of the rides while I'm here. See you later! Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this already, dude. Hey, you come here often? What category are you ordering? So I didn't get kicked off? Okay, I got it wrong though. Choose a category. Um, am I picking or is they are they picking? Memorable events. Okay, they picked. This is looks really cool. Let's explore the mysteries of what? Here comes the coolest screen around. It's Bordy the Bro smart just board. came out. He's coming back out. Why are you clapping? Hiya, Stop clapping. He was just I'm here. Bordy. <laughs> Look at this image of a famous historical event. Oh, it's the moon landing. What event is this? Yeah, the moon landing. I know this. Everyone knows this. What is this like? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? That are you smarter than a banana? That works for me. Hey, I actually got it right. I will neither confirm nor deny the rumors that the moon landing was filmed on a soundstage here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood. You would. Oh my God, it's true all along. The conspiracies. Well, I fulfilled my duties. Bye for now. Okay, but like, you're not gonna... Like, does the audience have amnesia? Like, he was just out, though. Bro, what is he doing? I don't like him. Boo, boo. What are you... <laughs> what is happening? This is how we did it back in my day. A cantaloupe? Oh, there's more fruit? Hey, what's the big idea? Bro, did the banana host just get kidnapped? What is going on? What is freaking Donkey Kong? I just joined this game. I don't know what's happening. Oh, wait, am I playing? This game's insane, dude. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay. You just jump over them, right? You get points. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Ah! Oh, I never said I was good at the game, okay? Oh, I have another life. Wait, what's this? Yo, this is kind of crazy. Why does I feel like this is going to lead to some secrets or something? I'm hoping that it's that kind of game. I really don't know, though. It could just be a game show that's wacky, but, like... Why, why did I think that was going to work? Like, honestly, what am I thinking? How many lives do I get? It's... I'm out of here. No! This, this game looks really cool, though. Hi, how are you? In the mood to pick a category, I hope, because that's what you're doing. Me? Okay. Like how... <laughs> <laughs> Got like the doors. Uh, choose a category. Um, oh god. Uh, I, memorable events. That seems like memorable to be the easiest. Events. I am not that smart. Okay. I don't know. I didn't have to tell you that though. Okay. So let's talk about some of the uh, memorable events across history. All right, With banana. Their iconic overalls, red and green oh, caps. Oh my god. And let's -a go attitude. The Wright brothers are known for saving a certain fungus-infested kingdom from no. Wrong brother. I was gonna oh, say. Oh, with their iconic flying contraptions. Oh yeah, the Wright brothers. Give up attitude. The Wright brothers are widely credited as the duo to first create a motorized aircraft. Okay. Yeah. What year did they take their first I don't, flight? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 19. I'm gonna say 04. Dude, I don't know. 
Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Uh, some funny stuff I think happens when you get things wrong as well. Like, I think some things like... 1903. I was one year off. Happy to have you here. What category do you want? So at what point do you get voted off? Choose a category. Okay. Pick something cool. Talking about states. Oh, I'm here to state that we're talking about states. What state would something be said to be in if it was old, broken, and falling apart? State of despair. Am I, I hope I'm right. It sounds like I'd be right. True. How do I know what they picked? Hey, I think I got it right. I don't know. I think two of the other ones were right, too. <laughs> it's still like New York. It's your turn. Choose another category. Shape, shapes. It's really hard to believe that we're playing Roblox right now. Like, oh, I like this category. Let's see the question. That's ironic. <laughs> Which U.S. president is known for saying, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself? Oh, uh, uh... I'm gonna say, I don't know. I, I know the quote, but I don't know who said it. Not a chance. Ain't nobody got it right, I don't think. Hey, I got it right, I'm so smart. I knew it, I knew it all along. Franklin D. Roosevelt. I am smarter than a banana. Taste test? Taste test. That sounds easy. All right, this category won't leave a bad taste in your mouth. Okay, it's time for some food related questions. Here to collect his paycheck, it's Forty the Smart Ball. <laughs> Guys, Another you don't need a clap. Oh, okay. Um, here it is. Take a look at this. Associated with Southeast Asian cuisine. Oh, oh, I this know this. This fruit is known for its device. Yeah, it's odor. like really Some disgusting. Some absolutely love it. While others have compared it to raw sewage, rotten onions, oh, or even oh, skunk spray. I, if I see what it, I'll be able to see it. What's the name of this fruit that so many people uh, have opinions God. on? Uh, it's a, a breadfruit durian. 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 I'll allow it. I don't think I was first, though. Hey, I think I was second. Yeah. Durians are banned in certain hotels or other public places because of their strong, lasting odor. Just like me! The, the awkward stare. I've been Forty the Smart Board. See you next time. What do you mean I've been? You are, what? Oh, I have prizes. Rubbish. Oh God, what's happening now? Rubbish, I say. My professional critical opinion is that this quiz show stinks. <laughs> and I'm taking my leave of it. Good day. Oh, this is awkward. There's a gift shop on your right, just past the exit. A gift shop? <laughs> Oh, I just love gift shops. I simply can't get enough of rampant consumerism. Oh, I can't wait. Hi, how are you? In the mood to pick a category, I hope. Oh, we just got a new guest all of a sudden? Okay. Bro, this is this show is unhinged. I don't like that. Pick I don't like that. Pick I don't like that. Artistic integrity. What is this? Wow, I thought we abandoned this years ago. When working in computer graphics, artists sometimes unwrap the sides of a character or object to project additional detail and color onto it using an image called a texture. What is this process called? I don't know. Uh stretch mapping. Cuz I don't I actually don't know. Sounds right. Sounds right though. No! <laughs> there ain't no way, Monica, you knew that. And it's back to you. What category will you pick this time? Okay, uh, big laundry talking. Big laundry, yeah! Big laundry. I don't know what that is, though. Let's air out some of this big laundry with the big laundry category. So imagine you're in a clothing store. You overhear a conversation between two people. Oh, yeah, I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? <laughs> no, I'm more into deer stalkers. I mean, how fetching, right? What's the deer stalker? Deer stalkers. What is this? The 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezzes. I don't know what those are. What type of clothing are those two weirdos, I mean people, talking about? Uh, type of hats. Well, they, they, it has to be hats. They were talking about beanies. So, hat. That's correct, yes! Ah, I'm so smart. A deer stalker is what you usually see Sherlock Holmes wearing. I did not know that, actually. You're up to bat again. What category will it be? All right. Can I just... Uh, can I buy something? Wait, 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 wait. You don't have this prize yet. How do you get prizes? It's lit, fam? Ye all know the famous tale of the book named Moby Dick. A sailor swore <laughs> against that sea Whoa! People just jump down? How does this ever-famous tale begin? On a boat? 
Once there was a whale. Once there was a whale. I feel like that's been said many times. I was, I was wrong. I don't know, dude. Call me Ishmael. I read the book, but I was probably, I was little, dude. I don't remember that. I don't remember hardly. Flags of the world taste test talking about states. Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to? Is it Argentina? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Czech Republic, Philippines? Eee, Poland? Ah! I really don't know, dude. Oh my god! We're here at the end of the round, which means it's time to announce the grand prize! Oh, there's a prize? With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fantastic sides <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight awesome angles, this octagonal eye-catching sign is perfect for sprucing up your neighborhood. Oh man! Oh, that sounded bad. Um, if anyone asks, this isn't a real one we took from the nearest four-way intersection. Why did you do that? They stole a stop sign. Is that price just neat, folks? Let's bring out our grand champion. You did it! <laughs> He's literally doing the, the dance! Brain of all. He's literally doing the dance! That's all the time we have. If anyone needs me, I'll be sleeping in my car until we start filming the next episode. <laughs> What is wrong with these people? I don't know. Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. No, seriously, they paid us to make this. Okay. Where does he go? Oh, I, he had a. He had like. Look at the, the pear or whatever that is. He actually went to the gift shop. Wait, I want to know the secrets though. This game's actually really cool. Like, it's pretty high quality. I, I almost can't believe it's Roblox. Oh, you get to buy stuff. Okay, well, I got a bunch of coins now. Oh, hey, 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 what's this? 28? This was on, this, wasn't this on the, the achievement? Dude, I am convinced. I'm convinced there's something in the, going on in this game. I think it's my YouTuber brain wanting to believe that there's something going on in the game, but I really believe it. You, under, you understand? I actually don't know. That's the thing. Pre-recorded on tape, but technically live for our studio audience. <laughs> Pre Pre-recorded. All right, we're gonna keep playing because there might be something. I'm contractually obligated to do this. Is that what he said? Hey, you come here often. What category are you ordering? Shapes and such. How about that? Shapes and such. Sounds easy enough. With this category, this game show really is beginning to take shape. Mm. What kind of triangle has one angle that measures precisely 90 degrees? Uh, obtuse, obtuse, obtuse. Right, that makes sense. I think. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah! Oh my god, I'm the only one that got that ro a right triangle. That actually makes a lot of sense. Puzzling puzzlers! Okay. I, I, you don't even know what the questions are gonna be. There's an apartment building downtown with four floors. The higher the floor, the more people live there. Which floor does the elevator go to most often? Um, the first floor. It, that just makes sense to me. What? Hey, I was right. You've always had to back down to the ground floor to leave. That's what I'm saying. Say, that's a pretty nice podium you got there. Ready to pick a category? Hey, wait, I did not get a new podium. Have you been reading our flavor text? It's time for some question about the prizes. Where did I find the cool rock? I, what? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Uh, outside the studio. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping that I'm right about this. I love his reactions, though. Yeah, I knew they wouldn't go further than outside the studio. <laughs> hey, you come here after what category are you ordering? What kind of question was that? Flags of the world. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, all right. I'm going to try to... I'm not going to cheat, I swear. That sounds like it's time for a bonus prize. Nephew, if you would. Nephew? He got a nephew? This oh, that's his nephew. Of education. Uh -huh. Officially notarized by the Board of Edutainment and 100% legitimate, this certificate is definitive proof that you've encountered educational content in Shovelware's Brain Game. Please note that this document does not indicate that you have actually learned anything, just that you were in close proximity to education or some facsimile thereof. <laughs> okay. Ready to add it to your collection? Let's see. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Bordy! We know! We know oh, who Bordy Lord. is! It's Don't say this! It's Bordy question! All aboard! Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to? Uh, huh? What is this? 
Antarctica. Dude, I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's not a flag. Is that you real? Just posted cringe. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was right, and I, I got education. Thanks for having oh me. Oh my god, I finally got a diploma. Time. Thanks for showing up. You just posted cringe. Go ahead and take a uh, pick a category. The first one's free. Talking about states. States, states, states. We're talking about states in this category. Look at this diagram of the water cycle. In which form is water considered a gas? Uh, water vapor. Right? Like, that's pretty obvious. I mean, that one, I, I gotta say, that was pretty easy. The process of evaporation is when water turns it from a liquid to a gas. Oh, so states doesn't just mean states. What? What is nephew doing? Yo, what's up? I'm the oldest of the Dancing Bananas nephews. I work the cameras. That over there is my younger brother. He's in the middle, nephew. I pull the curtain. The one with the clipboard attaching, uh, approaching me angrily is my other older brother. Peel, get back to the show. Well, that's the end of my inside scoop. Back to you, Uncle Boss Man. Why are they telling them? Why are they telling us about themselves? Right? You're up to bat again. What category will it be? Okay, what's the word? Science rules. Eyes on the prizes. I don't even know. Let's Eyes pick it. on the prizes. I don't know. Who notarized the certificate of education? The document that signifies you were exposed to educational content I, in Shovelware's I, brain game. I, I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Banana. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even read it. The Board of Edutainment. Oh, I think it did say that. Well, I'll have to remember that next time. I, I didn't know that I had it right here. Okay, I don't know very much about Shovelware Studios. Hello, I know they made other games, chums. but this, this is the only game I played. About the garden gnomes in Super Slime Simulator. I've never played How it. How many gnomes are there in the yard state? I don't know, dude. Three. There's three, of course. Me too. What? I don't trust that apple. Oh, I got it right. There's three. That was complete luck. If you look closely at one of the gnomes, you can see a dab. We're very in tune with that, with what players want these days. Enjoy. Or with what these pl players these days enjoy. Will you pick a category or just let the timer run out? I know. I want to know. What happens if you let the timer run out? It's lit, fam. Zoo pals. What? No animals were harmed in the making of this category. Take a look at this fur pattern. Which animal does it belong to? It's a cheetah. It's a cheetah. A leopard, I meant. Oh God, is it? Is that a leopard? I, I honestly thought, wait, leopard. Oh, it is, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Okay. The shapes on a leopard fur are called rosettes. Jaguar's fur patterns are slightly different than a leopard's. Oh, okay. Well, I was, I was good enough. Wow, you get to learn so much. This is a technically an educational video. Math's my Math worst zone. subject. Nah, don't, what did I say? I said, don't do it. What is six times four? Six times four? Ah, that's easy. 20, um, four. I, I literally don't know. <laughs> it's such an easy question. <laughs> and I'm, see, I told you I got it right. I knew, I was very confident. Battery. I just knew I had to be around. Oh my God, you just murdered her. She was a category, uh, I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like that. What just happened? I like, <laughs> I like this category. <laughs> I have a friend who can't stand spiders. He gets the absolute heebie-jeebies anytime he's oh. around one. Uh -huh. <laughs> he can't stand their fuzzy bodies, their eight legs, their numerous eyes. What oh, is the name is of my friend's phobia? I got it. I got it. Arachnophobia, obviously. That's like the only phobia I actually know sure, the name whatever. to. Bro, what if, what'd you just do to that person with a car battery, though? It comes from the name Arachnid, which is the type of creature. See, at least that one makes sense. I Some of the phobias literally make no sense in the names. Like, I don't know why they name them. Monumental landmarks. Okay, I might be able to get this. All right. Here on oh behalf God, of Smart so Technologies, long. it's Just come out, just stay outside. Smartboard. You come out so often. Uh, check out this sweet pic from my recent on-set film shoot. Can you uh, figure out where in the world I was? Uh, what? A temple, I guess, dude. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know what that is. No way you got that right. No way. I got it wrong. I can't see because he's covering me, but 
Ang Angkor what? Okay, get this. If you had 453 watermelons and somebody gave you an extra 1,268, how many watermelons total would you have? Wait. What? I, 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 uh. I think it's this one. I think it's that. It's got to be that number because it ends with 21. I, I didn't really guess it very right, though. It's lit, fam. What? Okay, I'm actually curious about this one. Let's hope you've done your reading. It's time for questions about literature. Oh, I know about literature. Bleh, bleh, it's me, Count Dracula. <laughs> I was like, the what? famous vampire. Okay. I want to suck your blood and then pick your brain with trivia. Which actor portrayed what is widely considered to be the most iconic performance of the iconic character? How is this his lit fan? I totally am. Uh, I don't think it's Adam Sandler, even though I know he did it. I'm going to say this person because I don't know who it is. Is it actually Adam Sandler, though? Like, I know he's a vampire, but... What? Oh! Dude, I actually got it. The vampire voice uh, most people know comes from Bella Lugoso, Lugosi's original performance. See, I'm good. I might not know information, but I'm smart at figuring out what it could be, you know? This round has come to an end, and so it's time to announce the winner. But first, let's see the grand prize we'll be awarding this time. Dude, I just want to know the prizes. self-help book I had in my car. Listen, um, between you and me, I'm probably going to need it back pretty soon. But you how to deal with just being a voice? Now, okay. All right, let's see who the winner of the round and that wonderful prize. Here's our shovelwares Man. game grand champion. We'll see you all next time for good another job. game. Good job. Good job. Good game. GG's. GG's. Okay, not a lot happened during that. Last time when we played, more stuff happened. So, Shovelware I'm hoping more stuff happens next time. Shovelware foods. If you try hard enough, it's edible. Whoa, dude. What the? <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, he's freaking Mario. That banana is scary. Okay, all right. All right. Let's do some more exploring. Wait, why does it say nine now? There's probably no secret. I swear, though, there is. Car battery. <laughs> Oh, that was actually that was so funny. For fans of Vegas, all right, let's play another round. I have a feeling that we need to collect more prizes in order to maybe get some more of the story if there is any story. Without further ado, he's the CEO and founder of Shovelware Studios, and he's also your host. It's the Dancing Banana. Thank you, thank you. I'm contractually obligated to be here. Did we invite you or did you just kind of wander onto the set? Oh well, contestants are contestants either way. Pick a category. Some may try to claim that all civilization is just one long story still being written, but really it's just a series of memorable events. Is that the bonus prize chime already? Darn right, show him, nephew! Do you have a fuzzy little pet you love to pamper? Or maybe you're just someone with a lot of hair? Either way, I've bought up every last bottle of this particular brand of dog shampoo in the immediate area. Astronomically increasing the value of this <laughs> oh my prize God. artificially. Pour it into the tub, or maybe like into a lake or pond of some kind, because there is way too much of it for you to take home with you. Why? Wow, I bet you can't wait to add that to your collection. It's got like a million bottles of dog shampoo. All you have to do is answer this question correctly. The Confederate States of America was a group of states that seceded from the United States over a dispute primarily about wanting to maintain slavery. On April 12, 1861, those nutjobs waged a civil war against the United States of America that they ultimately lost, and 3.9 million enslaved people were freed as a result. How long did their little temper tantrum last? I don't know. I don't know. Four years? A year, a year, right? You think I would know about that if they taught that in school? I don't, I don't. Okay, it was probably four. Yeah, I was gonna pick that too. Kept you waiting, huh? Here's a question from me to you. Was that a, was that a Metal Take Gear a look reference? Take photo from my trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. um, actually, I was thinking I could be the one to ask this question. Uh, no, no. Come look at this Italy photo! This is a picture of a vineyard! What is being grown here? Oh, you're driving me insane! 
I just put grapes. That's the first thing I thought of. That's what they grow in vineyards, grapes. That's right. Yo, why am I only getting five points? Is it, you get more points if they ask you it? Oh, I wonder if I can go in there. Maybe after this round, we'll be able to go in. Welcome. You're going to need to pick a category, okay? Oh, it's a riddle. Okay. All right, one, you only get one at a time. The Dancing Banana's brother has three sons. Each of his sons has a sister. How many children does the Dancing Banana's brother have? Four. Four. Final answer. Oh, so that's why they tell you the information, because it's in some of the questions. They all have one sister. That's the, that's the trick question. Oh, wow. Most people got it wrong. I have a niece. I have a brother. Why is he shocked? Amazing space. Okay, okay. You're gonna talk about planets now? Our sun is yellow, but did you know that stars come in different colors? It's true. The color of those big old balls of exploding gas out there in space is determined by how hot they are. Well, that leaves only one question. Which star color is the hottest? Dude, I'm gonna guess, uh, white. I'm gonna guess white. The sun is technically white, right? We all got it wrong? Blue? Are you telling me if the sun was blue, it would be even more hotter? That's crazy. I actually did not know that. Okay, uh, flags of the world, taste test. I don't like that. Um, taste test. How much do you know about food? Not very much. I love pizza. Oh, I cannot get enough I of it. I love pizza. I'm like some kind of unspecified turtle superhero. If I wanted to go to the origin of pizza and experience it in its true, authentic fashion, where would I Italy, go? Italy is like the first place I would think of. I don't know. It's probably not. Oh, it's just not true. Woo! Let's go, baby! My boss from my summer job in high school was the dancing pizza. I wonder if he's from Italy, too. Pardon me. I was told there'd be humorous content in this show, and yet I have even left even once. Do you want a refund or something? Uh, a refund? Uh, <laughs> a refund? No, you simple fool. Uh, I, what I want is much larger. Uh, I want... Uh, a refund would be quite nice, actually. <laughs> well, you laugh now, so you can't have one anymore. He would like to speak with your manager. He just sat back down. <laughs> Category time. What do you pick? Why is he constantly interrupting the show? Who is the the pair? This category is the final frontier where no banana has gone before. Well, now I I mean I've genuinely learned things in this game. You know, it's it's at least there's that. Oh, bonus prize. A dancing hot dog. I hey, won it. Dad, get out of there. We're trying to do a show here. Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? I won it. That's a guy. It's just a man. And a live beat. <laughs> no, no, this can't be right. You there, banana nephew character? Pull that rope again. Close no. the curtain and open it again. There's got to be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. <laughs> Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay. Now pull it open again. No, that's the, the same dancing hot dog again. I want him. What are you still doing here, banana nephew? Are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. He's like, all this right. never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy. A dancing hot dog. Just pull the curtain again and there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. Dancing hot dog. Oh, with a guitar. Dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock and roll guitar. Is that what I'm seeing here? Where okay, do you this get is it? Definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed, almost one to one, and I am just not getting it. Right? And then a nephew. Is that your name? The middle nephew. Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. You're standing right in front of the camera, middle nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. Wait, he's flat now. Why? This dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. <laughs> wow, I bet you can't wait to add that to your collection. How do you how do you win them again? 
<laughs> All you have to do is answer this question. Okay, that's it. All right. Different planets are classified under different types based on mass, orbit, and what they're made of, among other things. Oh, no. What type of planet is Jupiter classified as? Uh, gas! It's gas. I, I googled it. I googled it very fast. It's giant gas. Yes. I mean, I did not cheat. Did you really know that or did you just guess? Of course I knew it. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I did not pay attention in school when they were teaching this stuff, okay? At all. Yes! A giant gas is a giant planet mainly composed of helium and hydrogen. The other gas giant in our solar system is Saturn. And so that the bonus prize is here. Is it really just gas though? Just like a floating thing of gas? <laughs> That's kind of lame. I always thought like you just land on it. Like you have to bat again. What category will it be? Okay, I'm doing like fairly well though, but I think this game might be pay to play possibly. I think you can get like double points, so that's kind of cheap if that's the case, but I don't know. I can't tell though. I could be wrong. Let's see though. Your tongue has taste receptors. Taste buds. Yeah. That tell your brain the flavors of things that touch your tongue. There are five basic tastes that those receptors pick up and combine to form all sorts of complex uh -huh. flavors. I don't know. Which I didn't of know the that. following is not one of the five basic tastes? Umami, sweetness, freshness, uh, freshness. That doesn't sound like a thing. That doesn't sound like a thing at all. How could no you way. taste fresh? Ha! I'm so smart! Oh, I'm in the lead right now! It's your turn! Choose another category! Okay. Flags right. of the world! All right. we, we almost here. World flags have a crowd. Okay. Oh my god. The flag of Canada features a white center, two red bars on either side, and a shape in the middle. What is that shape? Maple, maple leaf, maple leaf. Sure, whatever. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh, I was not, I was like third to answer. Great, now I got maple syrup on my mind. Big laundry. Oh, I don't like this. Although I did get the last one right, so I think I might be able to do it. My flight leaves in an hour, but here I am. How do you fit in a plane? Take a look at this garment from ancient Rome. Okay, looks like a what robe. What's it called? Looks like a robe. Toga, toga, toga. Right, right. Dude, I, I, I think it's a toga. Yes! Woo! I was, the, I was the first one. Yes. Another question down. See you all oh, later. I actually knew it. I want the boat. I want the last prize. Give it to me. You have to bat again. What category will it be? All right, I'm in the lead, but barely. Nonsense, not flags of the world. I don't like that. I'm just gonna pick that because I, I don't, don't know what the like other stuff that. is. Okay. Which phobia is the fear of repeating patterns and clusters? Oh, of I, small I actually know holes. this. I actually knew that one. I don't. I don't even know how to say it. I just know it serves with a T. True that. Okay, I think I'm in the lead for good now. Some people experience this when looking at beehives. Yeah, I kind of, I think every, I think most people have that. Uh, uh oh, the orange is saying something. Hey, what's happening? Oh my God. Hey, banana. What's up? Want to see what I can do with this knife? Oh, sure. Go for it. <laughs> Wow, it's impressive how you made it look like you were throwing it directly at me, but in reality, it just barely missed. Any closer than I would have been a banana kebab. So cool. What is going on in this game? I just want to know what all is going to happen in this game. Have you ever heard someone use the phrase al dente when talking about pasta or rice? In Italian, the phrase means to the tooth. But what does that exactly mean? Exactly. Uh, firm to the bite, firm to the bite, firm to the bite. I googled it. I'm not ashamed. Ooh, I'm a fast Googler. Okay, all right. Ants! Ants! <laughs> Ants, man! There's a lot of those guys all across the globe. What the no heck? No picnic is safe. But how many ants are there? Like, total. It's 20 quadrillion, apparently. I actually didn't know that. That's right. Who knows this? Who's even thinking of this? That's 2.5 million ants for every person on Earth. 
Oh my god, ants could literally take over the world, but they're too stupid. That is why? Who why is that information available to anybody? Okay, food related questions. The process of making cheese is long and convoluted and has many, 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 many steps. Which of the following is used in the process of making cheese? Frying pan, uh, waste, scouts. Bacteria. I do. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know, dude. I just guessed. I guessed. Wait, was I right or wrong? Hey! If you think that's gross, you should see how sausages, sausages gets made. I actually didn't. Uh, I googled it. I still didn't see it. Uh, let's stick with taste test. Taste test. Coffee is made by roasting and blending a certain something. Are you kidding what me? What is that Beans? certain something? I love coffee. This was the easiest question in the world for me. I mean, come on. Okay, everyone got that right. Don't talk to me before I've had my hot bean juice. I love my hot bean juice. And that's it. I did it. I finally won a round. Okay, sweet. What's my prize? You need all your phone charging needs unless you need your phone charge. Featuring an old frayed cable and worn down metal connector piece, this cord is pretty useless. Oh man! Wow, this is really worth it. What is the knife? What's up with the knife though? It's still there. And the winner of the round and recipient of our grand prize is. Dude, it better be me. I mean, I won. You did it! Yeah! You got the biggest brain of all. Yeah, I do. No, but why did the orange try to kill the banana? They don't have security here? Oh, can you touch the knife? Oh, you can't even go up there. All right, I want to see if that door's unlocked. Wait, I don't get it. What is it? If anyone knows the, what like, the secret is, please tell me. I'm dying to know. Oh, you can buy the prizes. Oh, interesting. So if you have coins, you can buy the prizes that you didn't win. That's actually so cool. You can like watch it live too. Oh, it's the announcer secret. So it's not the banana. But there is a mystery going on. If you know any information, please leave it down in the comment section. But either way, the game was really funny. And I would actually like to play more of it just because it's funny. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.